welcome to my channel my name's Alicia if you're new here thank you so much for clicking on the video today today I'm going to talk through a few Amazon gimmicks and travel items that I think that you don't need when it comes to traveling there's so many different items on the market for example rechargeable fans or different types of phone holders a lot of these things I have bought myself based on being influenced by creators on YouTube. I know it can be overwhelming, but I'm going to tell you a few things that you don't need and I hope it helps you in your travel. Grab your cup of tea or coffee. I have mine here and we're ready to go. So let's get right into it. This is the first item that I think you don't need when it comes to traveling and that is a neck pillow. I've never owned one, this is my husband's one and I don't think I will ever buy a pillow for the plane. My husband used this once or twice and then he was so over it, it wasn't helping him sleep and it kind of got annoying carrying this around all the time with us. My solution for a travel pillow is a bit different and unconventional and what I like to do is get a little dust bag or any sort of packing cube that you might have for example, these little drawstring pouches, sometimes you get these when you buy goods from the store and they include a little dust bag like this. What I like to do to use for a pillow in the plane is take that bag, a little drawstring bag, like I have example here already filled up, and I will stuff my clothes into this bag. So I can use this now as a pillow on the plane and it's just as comfortable as your neck pillow, if not more comfortable. If you're in a window seat, you could just lean this against the window and put your head on it. That brings me to the second thing I think that we don't need to buy when it comes to traveling and that is the foldable laundry hamper. I'll put a photo on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't heard of this, it's basically a big laundry basket that folds down flat. And they sell this on Amazon and that's something I personally would never buy for traveling. You can use dust bags like this, which come with purchases when you buy from online clothing stores or shoes sometimes come in these dust bags. You can then repurpose that and use that as your laundry bag. A lot of hotels these days also have a laundry bag supplied for you in the room anyway. So that's the second thing that I wouldn't bother buying from Amazon is the foldable laundry bag. The next thing that I think you don't need to buy for traveling is a bit of a hot take and my opinion only so don't come for me if you love these. But the third thing I think you don't need to buy for traveling are packing cubes. I know a lot of people love packing cubes, they're very popular, especially nowadays with so many different designs available on the market, but packing cubes are something that I don't own and I don't think are necessary when it comes to traveling. I've never been one to use packing cubes. The way that I roll my clothes when I'm packing my suitcase, they just aren't necessary because I can fit everything in pretty easily anyway. If you are someone that overpacks, I can see the appeal and compressible packing cubes might be a game changer and I haven't tried them, but it's not something that I buy and I don't think it's an essential that everyone needs. If you disagree with me, leave me a comment, convince me otherwise, I just don't think they're worth it for me personally. If you are familiar with my channel, you may have seen my previous videos reviewing the base bags and I was very tempted to buy the base packing cubes, but I haven't yet and I just don't think they're worth it. The next thing that I think is not worth it and not needed when it comes to traveling is a travel wallet. Now, the reason for that is the length of travel wallets can be so long that they are just not convenient for putting away inside your bag, inside your jacket pocket, Carrying them around can be quite annoying because they take up so much space. If you are traveling around with this huge travel wallet in your hand, I just think it makes you stand out as a tourist and people will identify you and put you at risk of being pickpocketed when you're out and about in another country. I have this already, so I have used it in the past for traveling overseas. But for my upcoming trip, I don't think I will be taking this with me. 
Back in the day before we had mobile phones and very easily could access online e-tickets, we used to have to print out paper tickets, print out the itinerary, all that paper could be stored inside travel wallets and it could be useful back then. But nowadays, because everything is online and on your phone, I just don't think it's necessary to print all that paperwork and carry that around with you. So I think a long wallet like this is not really needed anymore. The next thing that I think you don't need when it comes to traveling is a passport cover. For me, when I'm in the airport, I think it does get annoying when you have to constantly take your passport in and out of a cover. This one I've had for over 10 years, so I do still continue to use it. But again, I just don't think they are necessary. You have to show your passport to so many different people when you're in the airport, going through security, checking in, checking out, and it can be a bit time consuming always having to take it in and out of the cover. When you're carrying around your passport in a cover, it also does make it a lot bulkier. So it's gonna take up more space, unnecessary space inside your bag. And I just don't think it's worth it to have this when you're traveling. Something that I've recently stopped bringing for traveling are liquid products. So liquid cleansers, liquid body wash, all these different liquids that take up a lot of space in your bag are not necessary anymore. So this is one example I have here of a cleanser. So I wouldn't need to pack my huge soapy cleanser with me anymore. I would just pack a few of these little cleanser tablets and then once you're in another country in your hotel room, you just take one of these little powder sachets add some water from the sink in your hotel room and you've got yourself a cleanser. So that saves a lot of space and also saves you the risk of going through security and being over the liquid limit. When it comes to shampoos and conditioners, that's another thing we don't need to pack with us. A lot of hotel rooms supply those things these days, which saves you bringing them on your trip. Along the same lines, body wash is something you don't need to pack with you. As an alternative to body wash, these days you can bring soap bars or body bars with you and that will save you bringing liquids as well on the flight. So anything to reduce the risk at security being stopped for being over the liquid limit I think is a good idea. Instead of bringing a liquid body wash, bring a bar of soap. Instead of bringing your liquid cleanser, you can bring a little sachet like this. Or instead of bringing your liquid toothpaste, you can actually even buy toothpaste tablets these days. So you just add water to it when you're in your hotel room and brush your teeth that way instead of bringing a whole tube of traditional toothpaste. When it comes to traveling, something that I always leave behind these days are pajamas. I just like to use the bathrobes that they provide in the hotel room and that'll do it for me. I just think if you're trying to save space, this is something you can leave behind. It might be an obvious one and I think if you absolutely love your pajamas, you need them to fall asleep and it provides you comfort. Absolutely everyone can do what they want. I'm not telling you to leave them behind. This is just my opinion and something that I never bring with me when I'm traveling. The next thing that I think you absolutely don't need is a seat organizer for your in-flight tray table. And this is one example here I've found from Amazon. It's a seat pocket organizer. You put it in front of you over the pocket inside the plane and you can store all your belongings in there. People attach this to the pocket and then they have a new pocket in the seat in front of them. I think this is such a gimmick and just an excuse to sell us other products. I don't think this is very useful. I think you have a pocket there already. Why not just use that one? I don't understand. I guess some people who maybe think it's more hygienic to bring your own pocket, but I just don't get it. I don't get the need for this pocket organizer. But if you disagreed with me, please prove me wrong. Leave me a comment why you love this. Why is it so popular? I haven't tried it. Maybe I'm just not there yet and I could change my mind if I try it in the future one day. 
but for now I just don't see the need for this it's just ridiculous like a seat organizer when there's already a pocket there for you to put your things in I don't get it but to each their own if you love it you do you moving on this might be an obvious one but I'm bringing it up anyway and that is a camera I don't think we need to bring separate cameras anymore these days for traveling especially if you have a smartphone Samsung or Apple phone these phones have amazing cameras these days for me because I am vlogging and filming YouTube videos I will bring my other vlogging camera when traveling but when it comes to my personal use if I wasn't making YouTube videos I usually would only take my phone camera and not a separate camera something that is definitely outdated now and we don't need to bring for traveling are guidebooks and translation books when you're in another country and you don't understand the language a lot of us use Google Translate these days which is great to have as an app on your phone but previously we used to have these language books to learn other languages and we used to have guidebooks to show us maps in other countries but all these things are just outdated now and no longer need to bring these heavy books with us Another thing that I would never travel with is a blanket and these days you can buy a lot of different travel blankets they have for sale. Blankets are provided on most airlines these days especially when you're going international and have an overnight flight. A lot of the flights I've been on they usually do provide blankets so that's just something that I would never travel with is a blanket. Let's have some coffee. The next thing that I would never travel with is a book light. And I know a lot of people who love to read usually do have book lights. And I get it if you're reading on the plane, you want to have your little lights so you can read. But for me, I would just use the lights that I have on top of my seat in the plane. Lights on the plane are really effective in spotlighting your specific seat. I have had a book light in the past but always needing to change the batteries just got really annoying. So I stopped using my book light because I just wouldn't change the batteries. Now if I'm reading on the plane, I would just use the light that I have on top of my seat and that will spotlight my seat for me specifically and allow me to read. This is a foot hammock and this is the next thing that I think you don't need to bring when traveling. This is a bit hit or miss. You either love it or you hate it. I like using them. My husband did not like using this. He is taller than me though, so it might depend on your height. But the reason I say you don't need to bring one of these when traveling is because a lot of airlines don't even allow you to use these on the plane. For safety reasons, they just don't allow it in some airlines. And if you know more about that, please leave me a comment as to why they don't allow you to use these. But in my experience, although I loved using this, the airline that I was on, which at the time it was Hawaiian Airlines, they didn't allow us to use the leg hammock. In the future, if I am traveling, I would definitely check on the airline website before bringing this with me because you wouldn't want to carry it with you all the way internationally and then realize you actually can't use it on the plane anyways. Another item I think you don't need to bring with you when traveling are earphones. And these are AirPods, Apple AirPods, but I would recommend leaving them behind or don't go out of your way to purchase them if you haven't got them already because all the airlines these days do provide earphones for you. Yes, they are wired headphones, they're not going to be Bluetooth headphones, but they do provide them so you can watch your movies on the plane and you don't need to have brought your own headphones with you. If you do bring your own AirPods for your travels, a lot of the time you can't connect the AirPods to the TVs they have on the plane and you have to use the wired headphones. So for that reason, I don't think it's worth bringing them with you unless you're going to use them for outside of the plane during your trip anyway. But this is something that I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase if I didn't have them. Something else that I've seen influencers talk about on YouTube are these foldable shopping bags. And they can be useful, of course, to have a shopping bag with you while you're overseas to just keep it in your bag, take with you in case you buy something that you need to carry home. 
but a lot of the time the hotels these days supply bags for you anyway in the room. I'll put a photo on the screen of the Amazon foldable shopping bags that I've been seeing people talk about. And this is one example of a free shopping bag that I received in my hotel in Tokyo. So for that reason, I don't think it's necessary to bring your own foldable shopping bag. The Tokyo hotel room supplied this bag for us for free, one for me and my husband. So we got two of these little bags from our Tokyo Disney hotel. And it was really good because we could use this for traveling out during the day and then we didn't need to buy a separate shopping bag. So if your hotel does supply a little shopping bag like this, it will eliminate the need for you to go and buy your own foldable shopping bag. The next thing that I will be leaving behind and I don't think you need to buy for traveling are face masks. Back in the pandemic days, we did have to wear masks everywhere, but nowadays this is just something that we don't need anymore and we can leave these behind. Unless of course you are not feeling well and you want to be hygienic and protect yourself a bit more, of course it is still fine to wear these and use these, especially in the plane, but this is just something that I don't think you need to go out of your way to buy and it's something that I won't be bringing with me for my future travels. The other thing that we can leave behind these days when traveling are these tests. So good riddance to them, we don't need to bring these anymore when traveling, forget that. Only a couple of things left, we're nearly done. But the next thing that I think you don't need to bring when traveling are wipes. So wet wipes, face wipes, facial cleansing wipes, these things are not needed these days. Instead of our traditional face makeup removing wipes, you can nowadays buy things like this, which are makeup cleansing pads, reusable and washable. I think this is a great alternative, so you don't need to worry about bringing face wipes with you when you're traveling. The final thing that I think you don't need to bring with you when traveling or buy are these jewelry organizers. There's so many different types of jewelry organizers for travel these days. I have one example here and this is my small jewelry organizer that I've had for many years but I think it's just something that you don't need to go out of your way to purchase especially if you're not a big jewelry wearer. So that's something that I always leave behind. I don't think you need to bring this with you unless of course you absolutely love jewelry, you wear so much jewelry while overseas, you do you. This is just my opinion and that is something that I will definitely not be buying again. So that wraps up the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, there's just so many different travel gadgets and gimmicks that are shoved down our throat these days. But these are a few things that I just don't think you need. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.